well then. Um, that just happened. Uh, Manchester United and Sevilla headed into a second leg, two two. In theory, Manchester United, you think we should have came better prepared? You think with Rashford, Shaw, uh, it's a bit so. A few other players actually being involved in this game. You know, Cassie being on the pitch, Martial being on the pitch. We just got smoked three 0 and it's arguably. And I watched Man United for a shit ton of time, um, so many years, so many managers, so many players. It was just shit. I mean, all credit to Sevilla. Sevilla played fantastic. Ocampas, um, the left back, Rakitic, Suso. Fantastic set of players who put on a performance like no other. Like Navas didn't even have to do much. You know, Tellez made an appearance. The keeper made like one save, I think. Casse was shit. Ericsson was shit. Sabitzu was shit. Maguire was shit. De Gea was shit. Dalo was shit. Wamasaka was shit. Uh, Anthony was not shit, but he didn't do anything. He uh, people, you know, Savage was saying. Oh, He's one of the bright sparks. No, not really. His ball was heavy to Casemiro. He was doing stupid long balls. He wasn't taking on his player. He just wasn't doing anything that added to the game. But that's not just him. Everybody else on the pitch was shit as well. Maguire making a mistake and a combination with De Gea making two mistakes. A header that should have been capitalised by someone. And to be fair, De Gea, it, it beat De Gea over his head. He wasn't going to reach it. Shaw was shocking. Fucking hell, when he came on, he was atrocious. Sancho had a couple of nice moments, but overall, he was mid to, to shit. God, he can't take on his player. His confidence is poor. He, his ability as a football has just disappeared. Martial was useless. Rashford just wasn't utilised. Veghorst was fucking shit as usual. Every ball and just doing pointless tackles. But the thing for me is, I already mentioned his names, Ericsson, Kasse, Sabitzer, three players we have been able to rely on. Apparently, Ericsson was one of the best players against Forest. He was absolutely shit. His ability to go past players, his ability to pass the ball properly, his ability to just keep doing fucking long balls. Kasse giving away the ball too easy. His barrier as the CDM was atrocious tonight, making Lindelof and Maguire too vulnerable. wan ability to actually be a lazy bastard has returned. Fucking hell, the ability... The ability on this pitch today was shit. Um, every single Man United player that touched the pitch today should be fucking embarrassed. The fact that we have to keep relying on Bruno, Varan, Martinez to be on that field is, is embarrassing. You could see you need the leadership skills of Varan in that defence. You need the warrior of Martinez. You need the, the mentality and the consistency and the never giving up of Bruno. We needed a fully fit Rashford. It's, but the thing is, even if Bruno had played, Ericsson and Cassie were still making the basic errors, and Bruno wouldn't have fixed that. I don't think it would have ended three nil. I still think we would have lost because Rakitic was just on everybody. Then Lamella as well. I want to mention him. Very one footed. But, I mean, the fact is, we conceded four goals. I mean, obviously, the fourth goal was disallowed because of his shoulder. Very harsh, in my opinion. But Acampus perfectly placed that goal. And that was arguably the best goal that wasn't um, through something stupid. But, again, it was the gaps in the pitch, the, 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 the poor defending, the laziness. Nobody showed up to this game thinking this game was going to end 3-0. You could have argued we, we probably could have lost 2-1 or 1-0. Um... I predicted two one before the ball was kicked, and in my opinion, I was I'm just I'm actually disappointed in us. Um, the fact that Martial went off injured, the fact is Shaw was was suffering towards the end, and we have no Maguire, no Varane, no Martinez um, on the weekend, and there's only going to be Lindelof available as a centre back at this rate if Shaw has actually gone off with an injury. Um, I think. When you look into summer, a, a second keeper has to be available, so we have the option to be able to make 
subs or if the hair is a bad game we could switch for another keeper in the next game because those were just basic errors i mean the fact that the maguire that maguire called for the ball in the first instant and he was on the half turn or he didn't let the ball roll it was just shit from maguire <laughs> next season we need a keeper a cheap decent keeper who's going to be involved in the team we need another two center backs so we can have Varane, Martinez, Laporte apparently is on the market, Aragio, if he would leave Barcelona, but I'm not entirely sure. Timber, there are options out there. Um Wambasaka showed tonight that he has to I don't know what it is. It's just the sense of he's just very lazy at times. He doesn't always read the game properly. Dallet was no better. He was getting rinsed by Ocampos most of the game. Um I just don't really know. Midfield, the fact that those three players could be the future of that midfield with Brune and one more player thrown in there was embarrassing. Fred didn't really bring much to it, even though he's an energetic player. He just he just couldn't get involved in the game too well, and I'm disappointed in that. Veghorst, 100% needs to be fucked off. Alanga, you know, he had, I think he only had... Him and Casemiro, the only two people had shots on target, so, you know, at least credit to that. Um, Anthony has got a lot to learn. People overhyping him because he played well against Forest, and he just didn't do anything against Sevilla. He had multiple attempts to do things, and he was wasteful. He lost a ball. He was doing stupid things again. It's just Anthony has been so mid this season. People are trying to overhype him because he played well against Forest. Fucking hell, Nottingham Forest, who are in a relegation battle, get your heads out of your ass. But yeah, I honestly I don't know. Oh, uh, and the thing is, we're gonna be in uh, some ways worse place, but also better because Bruno will be back for the Brighton game. But as I said, Shaw and Martial are possibly out it means Vegas is possibly probably gonna start, and probably Rashford may start as well, which is probably better because Sancho is just not the player that we bought. So anyway. I'll leave it at that. I'll be back for the Brighton game. So stick around for that, of course. Subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the next one. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought. Until next time, goodbye.